Hello everyone, so I'm back once again. Uh, I first would like to apologize for the resolution for some reason. My computer is now not recording very well. Apparently something happened. Anyways, I don't know exactly what happened and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm gonna do what I can with what I have. And the verse of the day says, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray that you would speak through me through this video. In his name, once again, amen. So, what can I say about that? Well, the, the first thing I was thinking, I don't know if the first, but one of the things I was thinking when I, first read or at one point when I read this uh, and I was thinking about making this video was that um, so Christianity nowadays and religion I mean I guess re yeah religion I could say in general because of course Christianity is not the only religion out there but I would definitely say Christianity as well <laughs> specifically about Christianity but yeah what I was trying to say is that a lot of um, things have been taken out of uh, context in a way because you see a lot of I see a lot of um, things that are not really related to the spirit, spiritual realm you know it's a lot of what I hear is about being prosperous here on earth and being happy and a lot of things like that right um I am not saying that we should not try to be happy or prosperous. I am saying we should definitely try to do that. But um, I believe that the Bible, Christianity, is not about um, being happy here on earth. You know, it's about the spiritual realm. And with that being said, I do believe that um, sometimes we... This, we we don't consider like spiritual beings, you know. If you believe in God, and if you're a Christian, or if you don't believe in God, and if you're not a Christian, um, it's kind of irrelevant. Like the beings are still out there, you know, according to my belief, according to the Christian belief. So whether you believe it or not, um, air is around you. You know, can you see it? Not really, but it's essential uh, for you to live. So the same way we can't see air with our natural eyes, we don't necessarily see uh, spiritual beings either. But that does not mean that they're they're not out here, you know, around us. So, um, <clears throat> well, there is a lot to be said about that, I guess. But what I would choose to um, talk about would be yeah, so God, I believe there is a God. And if I believe that, not if I believe, but since I believe that I, and I am a Christian, I also believe that there is a devil and there are angels. So there are also demons. And that is not, I don't see it that often uh, spoken of. You know, like I hear people talking about a lot of things. But since this is the first of the day, I'm going to talk about these beings, right? And... One, I believe that God is the strongest, uh, I would always say that he's the strongest, uh, most powerful uh, being out there, but I was listening to someone the other day and he said that once we see God as a being, like the uh, heavenly being, we might, I don't remember exactly what he said with this, we might X. But um, what he said is that God is being itself. So everything there is, uh, is God in a way. I don't know. I didn't, um, I don't know how to explain it. So maybe I didn't fully understand it. But it sounded interesting, at least, since everything has been created by God. But with my little understanding of things, if I am allowed to say that God is a being, he is the most powerful of all. And 
that means that even if there is a devil, he's subordinate to God. And the same goes for both angels and demons. So, at least as a Christian, one does not need to be afraid of the devil or demons. Um, but that does not mean we should forget that they exist, you know? And I believe that God's main purpose is to get closer to us and to get the most people he can to heaven as possible, something like that. So as many people as possible into heaven. That's, in my opinion, his main goal here on the earth with us. So if God has a purpose, the devil also has one. And I believe that his purpose is to do the very opposite. So take as many people um, as he can to hell. And in a very simplistic way, I am trying to say that everything at the very end will either be going to hell or to heaven. Uh, and we can choose where we want to go. And I said this in Portuguese, uh, I think two days ago when I shared the, the video of the day in Portuguese. And what I said was the following, is that, sure, I can say that I'm a Christian and go in front of the church and say, yes, I'm a Christian, or go in front of people. But daily we make decisions that get us closer to God or to the devil. Oh my God, am I really saying this? Yes, I'm certain fourth man. Um, I am saying that. So, I gave the example of, of my own marriage. So, um, I said yes to my wife when we first when we, when we got married. And that yes has to be renewed every day. Because if I say yes, I am willing to be spend the rest of my life with you and exclude every other woman out of, out of my life on that day. If I say that one thing, one time in front of everyone and then the other the very next day i go and do something like have sex with another woman i'm saying no to that first commitment you know so in the same way i believe that if we say that we are christians we can say that once twice or however many times we want um it does not really matter if we don't keep that commitment forever really you know to death do us part so I would like to yeah, make this um, as the main content of this video. So yes, I believe that there is a God and according to what I believe, there is a devil too. Heaven and hell, angels and demons. And we choose where we want to go and which team we want to play. And one thing that I I really like is that it does not really matter if I can see the air. The air is out there. You know, it doesn't really matter if I believe in God. According to what I believe, it does not matter if a person believes or not in him. He does believe he does exist. And that's what really matters, you know. So I would like to end this video with this uh, thought. So if I'm wrong and there's no God, there's no devil, no hell, no nothing then I'm a fool and I'll die and nothing's gonna happen and everyone is gonna die eventually and whoever gets to live will continue to live and whatever. But there is a small, maybe not that small, but there is a possibility in which I am right. And if I'm right, then some people will spend the rest of their, not their lives, but it's the rest of eternity in hell and some people will spend the rest of eternity in heaven I might be wrong but if I'm right if I'm right where would you like to spend eternity I would like to spend it in heaven of course and I believe to be right not because I'm right but because of many reasons I can talk to you guys make another video another day talking about this uh, reasons why I believe I'm right not I'm right why I believe in God why I believe Christianity is right for now, I just would like to say that I do believe in everything I just said and I choose to stay on God's side and go to heaven. And I suggest you do the same. And that's it. Have a great day.
Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And your life. Hopefully see you on our next video. Our because you're with me. It's it's us right here, guys. And that's it. Alright, see you guys later. Peace. Blessings. Adios.